Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following me as I explore this wide world of pens. It's going to be a little bit different video. I'm going to take you on a tour of my pen room. But before I do that, I just want to peruse this one drawer in the many drawers of my pen cabinet. And I do put things in some type of an order here. My life is generally not very ordered. I like mess. I like chaos. I still like to do planning. But I like to do planning on my grounds and how I like to do it. In the early days, I really got into deltas. And I collected quite a bit of them. Now they're hard to find and I think uh, overpriced. But why did I start doing videos? especially pen videos, well, only pen videos, because I felt I could bring a different voice. And to me, I've always enjoyed pens for all my life. It's been a fairly long life, longer than I maybe had thought about in the early days. But, And I enjoy sharing my exploration of pens. And one of the things that I've always prided myself in is I don't care how much something costs. And I get a lot more pleasure out of something that is a value, something that I did not spend a lot of money for, that provides me with a lot of satisfaction and rewards. And that also motivated me in what I did on my channel. These here are a whole bunch of different types of pen rings that I got into. You know, the <clears throat> Fulwin 017 came with them. There's some Nemo scenes. Collected those for a while before they went out. And this is Italian pens on this end. There's Signums there, which I need to revisit. And of course, we talked about the Deltas. The first one I got was this Fusion one. Then I got into Dolce Vitas and Federico's and the Mona metal pen. Different variations on the Federico. This is a great wooden pen. All of these pens, to me, Delta had a very artistic flair, and I enjoy them. I enjoy writing with them. I enjoy looking at them. I enjoy the feel in my hand, and that's important. So let's see what my pen room looks like. Be prepared. It'll be some chaos. So what does my pen room look like? This is the desk I do most of my work at. I have a lot of lighting. I have a fluorescent light there to the right, an LED a spotlight, and a light that reflects off of the ceiling. To the left is the computer where I do all my video editing. Here's another bookcase. Uh, that first shelf uh, is my uh, backup shelf. Second shelf to the left, I have all my notebooks. Well, not all my notebooks. There's the, what I use to write letters with. And down below, I just have a collection of stuff. To the left, I have my pen storage cabinet. At the very top, I have an experiment that I did with a microscope that had a USB connection to the computer. I hope to do some very close-up photography. Didn't work out as well as I expected. If we continue on to the left, we'll notice uh, Wasky squirrel drawings, a Neiman uh, tennis watercolor, and another Leroy Neiman gift from a friend of mine. There's a bunch of crap there. Here are my storage bins that I keep some of my boxes. I save every box that I receive a pen in. I'm probably unique in that situation. If we look at a different angle here, we'll see my photography area. There's my Kamika mic, LED circular lights, and above those are my handmade photography lights, a number of LEDs. Puts out a lot of lumens, which is what I wanted. There's a pad that I use to record my writing on. Here's what it looks like with 
my LED lights all on and that's how it's lit up. I think it works really well because it eliminates the shadows which is what I wanted to do and I can now film well when it's dark out and there's no sun with the shades now. Here's like another workspace. If we look at my desk a little bit more closely we'll see on the wall this is a photograph I did from an electron microscope married up with a photograph I took of my uh, Enterprise model. Above that is one of my first early chalk drawings from elementary school. Yes, I've saved a lot of stuff. There's some Aurora and Klinger ink, some Aurora ink, an LCD, a small LCD uh, TV that is hooked up to an Amazon Fire card. No cable, but that's fine. Various pens hooked up there. A nice vintage tennis racket. Next to it is a hat uh, signed by uh, Tracy Austin and Jim Courier. Next to that is my uh, pen day hat. Above that is a nice photo photograph I have of a black and white sun coming through some trees in the winter time. Then we come down here, we'll see a, a print from a Noodler's Ink. There's my rat sticker. There's my collection of stuff. To the right is uh, stamps, my uh, self-sticking uh, address labels, some uh, packing material, my uh, pen notebooks. There's some cleaning materials. We come down here, we'll see a large selection of pen BBS inks, which is not all of them. To the left is uh, my little bottle of ammonia and soap solution for cleaning out ink. And next to that is water for flushing. I have a little coaster made out of sandstone for those occasionally beverages that I might partake in when I'm doing my pens. To the left there is uh, calico ink that came in this useless uh, foil package. And here are some pens I have inked up. Like I said, I probably have 50 pens inked up. I try to keep them in some type of order, but eh, I'm not an orderly person, so I don't do that as well as some other people might, or some people might want to do, but I know I don't want to do it, so I don't worry about it. My paper towels for uh, collecting colors of ink. Here is my uh, in working area. I, I got a collection of brush pens. Don't know what I'm going to do about it. Yeah, there's my metal welding uh, sample. There's a uh, glass container of pen Parker 45 nibs. This is what I use for uh, doing uh, chromatography. So I fill this with a little bit of water. And that uh, paper towels there is to clean out the water so there's no residue left. There's my little, uh, I have a lot of tools in here that I use for doing pen repairs with, but I have a lot of tools that I use. Here's some pens in, in process. You may recognize some of them. Some more pens in process, and all these are inked up. Well, the majority of them are inked up. There's that rollerball I took out of the Karen. Here's the ink that I uh, decided to put into the uh, platinum with the C nib. Here's some Cafe Crema ink. Some Krishna inks. Some more Robert Oster ink. I got a new uh, tactical pen, which I'll do when I do the gray one. So that's a little precursor of what my pen room looks like. Here's a bookcase I put in... Uh, early at the very top are some more notebooks. There's a shelf of all my reference books and some more pens. None of them are inked up. Some cleaning materials, some plastic trays, some more plastic trays, uh, some folders that I use to keep current materials in, some more cleaning materials, a bunch of trays with pens in it, some boxes with pens in it, paper towels, which are definitely a necessity, 
some more plastic bins with inks in it. And down below I have some more tools, equipment, a bunch of ink samples. It's in that uh, wooden box. There's also ink samples, but that's not all. Here is a uh, storage container I brought in day one. Those first two shelves have just some old stuff in it. Packing materials, cartridges, refills, the whole bit. Down below there are some more pen boxes. Some of them have pens in, some don't. I'm recharging my uh, battery for my camcorder. Some double stick tape, which you really need. So that's kind of a little bit of a run through, but there's more. Here I have my ammonia and my various cleaning solutions and a bottle of water when I get thirsty. Some more bins with pen boxes in it. These are usually pen boxes that have pens in it. And my collection of uh, towels and cleaning materials. And below the computer, this is a wooden shelf that I made a while ago just to keep everything together. There's a carry case which has a bunch of ink pens in it. Uh, that I used when I uh, did my uh, get together with a fellow pen nerd. And here's a box with a whole bunch of vintage advertising in it, which I should catalog someday, but it's on my list. It's going to take a while to get to it. And another bin of more pen boxes and other associated boxes. If we go over here, uh, this is a jar of uh, ground up artificial synthetic turf that they grind up rubber tires and they use it for the underlayment. That was part of a political thing I was involved in. As a little uh, Drexel carry bag that I use, um, you know, for donating to the university, they uh, provided me with a gift. Here's a bunch of uh, my recent uh, pen pal letters. Here's some uh, paper that was uh, in a pen BBS order that I made, which. I think there's paper that uh, Bienna used uh, to uh, do calligraphy with. If we flip them over, we might see some examples uh, of her writing. Uh, I keep it there for posterity. Uh, some more ink over here. Some uh, pens in repair. I have pens that I put in little plastic bags for repair that have been in process for longer than I'd like to remember. A uh, bottle I used to use for flushing out stuff. Here's our pen boxes, some recent pens that I bought, which eventually need to go into the bins. And up top are some uh, more of those excellent trays that I use for pens. I cut them up. I put them in those drawers in my pen cabinet, so that's nice. And some more pen boxes that need to be filed away. So that's my uh, run through of my pen room. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little run through. There's a Parker repair manual I picked up at a pen show. Some more little storage boxes with pens in it. And yes, I enjoy Zen, a Zen and in the art of writing, a Ray Bradbury book. Some more letters that are kind of older that are not awaiting replies and a bunch of catalogs and pen, uh, you know, magazines and things of that nature. And over here is a, uh, a nice speaker that takes that old wide Apple connector, not the newer one. And I have an old Apple iPod that I put a lot of music on to entertain myself with sometimes when I need it. So that's the run through. Hopefully you found this interesting. I'm using just the artificial light, so I don't know how well the colors are going to come out. But as I sit at my desk, uh, this is what I'm faced with. And yes, there's not much working room there. I do eventually want to clean this all out, strip it down to nothing, and then build it back up again and maybe organize it a little bit differently. But eh, that's not as much fun as playing with new pens, which is what keeps me interested. So we're going to say bye for now. We're done with the tour. Enjoy your pens. Enjoy writing. Enjoy putting it on paper. Enjoy that feeling of taking a white piece of paper and changing it, putting information on it, information that you might want to share, or just doodle and scratch. Whatever you want to do, it's fun.